Uh, we're starting off on gates. I think personally, I think any, I think any character with a projectile like Palm's notes are just really good at clearing smoke. So they end up being pretty strong in this course. Yeah, what's interesting about notes in particular is that they don't travel very far in the air, but they'll travel or along the ground nicely. Um, which kind of yeah. kind of puts Triforce in an interesting position where he's not going to be able to do much smoke on the ground or right below stage, but on like platforms and stuff, or like you know above platforms, notes are going to be uh, not the best at clearing smoke. We'll have to see how that pans out. And Triforce is going to lose the first stock pretty quickly. It's going to take a lot to get himself back into this game. Yeah. All right, or sorry, Mr. Mutton is doing a great job at just not giving him breathing room. That's something that's really hard in this game. You just don't feel like you have room to breathe. Yeah, for sure. You know, four is having to just in hitboxes. Doesn't have the best frame data, but Paws for frame data is pretty solid across the board. Um, she's going to be able to scrap with fours pretty comfortably. Uh, Definitely. Geez. There he goes. What is? Oh, there. Yeah. Sorry, he just dropped off stage and he had no idea what was happening. Oh, and that's the Yeah. You got a nice little string coming out from Triforce. Kind of thing this game is able to take stock. This one's gonna have to. It's not gonna be able to take too much percent in order to keep himself pretty comfortably. Alright, we're gonna get the smoke stacks. Wow, I'm suddenly it's almost even. Yeah? Double back air? My force isn't gonna be able to take too much percent before being at risk of dying for like an up air. But at the same time, with Pomp being yeah. so light, if Triforce is able to set up a good situation, I think he'd really be able to just kind of shred button. For sure, I agree. Both of these characters have super scary aerial killing options. So there's Pomp up air and fair, but mostly up air and force from back air, especially. Oh, or just. That's the national platform. Yeah, those aerials aren't even going to be needed. Uh, catches the DA out with the F knife. You don't see that super often, but Mutton just wasn't expecting it. And to be fair, I don't think I was either, because most forces aren't just going to let it rip like that. Yeah. So, Mutton going to be going to Jules Vale. I like this counter pick a lot. Um, kind of able to shut down Force's ability to move on platforms on the stage. Solid pick, especially playing in your character. So, so the thing is here that I'm doing the thing is we were talking about Nuts doing a good job of clearing smoke and just uh, Mr. Muttons is not even letting him put smoke down or put, let Triforce put smoke down. He's just yeah. not giving him breathing room, which is really yeah. hard. It's really hard when you're being pressured, when you're playing a character that really needs your resource on the stage. Like I'd say, Sylvanos with like flowers everywhere. Like when you can't put those down because you're just being pressured all the time, it's so difficult yeah, to I mean, just play the game. You know, Mutton also being a force player himself is going to be pretty familiar with how important smoke is and how, like, what kind of situations is optimal to go get rid of that smoke. That's a good amount of smoke right there, though, Mutton. I should to clear all of it with a fair. Never mind, I'm a liar. Right. <laughs> Combust is on the table and it's off the table. Yeah. Use that to get back on stage safely. Yeah. I'm just kind of unfortunate for Triforce there. And a good pair from Mutton. 
gonna go just whack Triforce right out of the air. have edge guard situation there but mom's recovery is really solid i'm not sure how force would be able to get past minutes like that maybe just like coming up with an, uh, with an air or something but i'm not even sure how to reach either way this on stage confirms have been the backbone of triforce's gameplay so far sure Down stock, not the best guy there, but he's gonna have to be really careful because again, we saw how last game ended. Uh, same thing could happen right here. Wow, covered by the note. Oh my goodness. That was, and I would just say that's incredible. I don't know, I don't think that was on purpose because I saw it was an incredible reaction to Florida not hitting the sweet spot. Like, I definitely think. They were aiming for the four there trying to kill off the stage, and it didn't hit, and they immediately did back her up air, just on reaction. No, no, either way, Mutton able to find that game. Uh, just showing again, Palm also has those really scary aer aerial confirms. Like, you, you don't want to get hit by a back air from either of these characters. Um, but they can do out of it since they Yeah. Already put off stage, but at a percent like that, Palm going to be able to have a lot of freedom in that new field to just go wherever she wants. I kind of wonder if he'd be able to like have the fluid jump into no field and just kind of explode in the middle of it. That'd be a little funny. Oh, that's an interesting thought. I don't I ever thought about that. Yeah, I don't know. This is a match I think. I haven't really seen get played too much. None of these characters are like especially common, especially Palm. Yeah, I wish there I, there was more Palm players because she has such a cool character, but she's just that little bit more technical than everybody else because of flow and as utilizing all of her tools. And she's definitely a fairly interesting character. Um, I feel like right now she's kind of in like a weird limbo state where people have like the most mixed opinions on her of all the workshop characters. And if anything, that's kind of why I want to see the character more. To like get a better feel for like just how strong she is. For sure. Either way, good DI there from Mutton able to knock it by the universe. I kind of think Triforce might have been able to land that if they uh, did a down the reverse instead of a side beat. Maybe it was a misinput. Either way, they are not going to need that back there. It's going to find the uh, up knife once again. Force burn there is so good in just club covering the whole entire platform. It's not a tech case because there's no way you have to chase them. You just stand in the middle and you hit the nair move and it works. It's has so some, like, big. Some really good options. To cover on class. Down strong as well. Uh, really not a whole lot you can do. You oh, yeah, to, of course. You just have to, like, not pack in. Hope he's able to. Hope they're able to get away in time. Wow. Track was looking really solid right now. Kind of an interesting player, because um, a lot of the, like, New England players that have played them locally will say that they're really good. But I don't really see them enter much online, so kind of a bit of a hidden boss in the game. But I can tell at least. So it's cool to see them coming huh. out. I mean, this this redemption bracket was gigantic. It had like probably like 50 or 60 people. Um, so wow, they can get to That's, the top eight is is I don't know. solid. For sure. Wait, for button gonna be going. To Fires for uh, most likely to be able to kill Triforce off the top here. 
I know Palm is one of those characters that really likes starter stages, so it's not too surprising that both of his stage picks so far have been starters. Especially this... Uh, I'd say especially this stage with low ceiling is just Palm up air yeah. prime material. Only have the fair right there. Try for it's a little string started. Unfortunately, not able to push my off stage just with me. Use stage control. Yeah, there it is. Just like you were saying, the uh, vertical kills on this stage happen pretty easily. That up air is going to be absolutely terrifying. Sure. And it doesn't even- it's so- it's so big, it looks like the ladder spot would have like... Or like there would be a sweet spot, and then the, had the second half of you wouldn't kill, and it did the whole entire thing, you just explode. Yeah, well, the, the scary thing about it is the angle flipper, too. Uh, Palm having such good air drift, you're just kind of able to maneuver around you and threaten those from both directions. You always have to be really on point with your EI. And Triforce down by a lot. We've seen them make these comebacks before, so you can never count Triforce out. But, For sure. You know, Mutton potentially on his tournament game right now. Not going to be letting Mutton make a comeback that easily. Almost seeing the fair come through, or the up air come through. There it is. Oh, get the eye once again. That's been like probably Mud's biggest issue so far in this set is his the eye has just not been very good. I can't fault him for that. Or at least not me personally. Like I just think DI is so much harder than people give it credit for. And by that, I mean I'm bad at it and I'm coping. <laughs> uh, well, the, the big thing with the eye is just that since it's so strong in Rivals, if you make a mistake, you get punished for it a lot harder than you do in other games. Um, for it sure. It is admittedly a lot but... harder to DI all by you. <laughs> I can never, never count that out as well. Ooh, the parry, that is going to be it. But I'm wow. take it to a game five. Stay nice, calm, and composed on stage. You know, sometimes it's all you really need. Yeah. Just stomp on them. Alright, so game five. We're going to the Tower of Heaven. Saw almost every single starting stage in the set. Yeah, I think every stage except for Merchant Port, if I'm right? Uh, that sounds about right, yeah. right now, trying to stay nice and above Triforce. Make him jump, possibly opening himself up. Oh, and that up there oh, wow. the first stock. You don't see that in kill often at all. There it is again, this tower is a backwards hit affair. This is not what he's looking for. Well, in the upcage is covering so much vertical space, but I'm gonna have to be really careful where he's floating. Triforce a little bit too high. Triforce at 180 almost is 
really good against Palm, who's killing her abilities and just kill what's up there. Finally able to get yeah, that, that one. one. Yeah. And realistically, Mud could definitely make this come back, but that is a rough start. That's one of those things where, you know, that happens to you game five and you just go into the rest of the game, like, a little tilted. For sure. And... It's just, and it's just cars. Oh. Okay, the board are putting Triforce off stage. But just gonna be able to recover, misses the top platform. Well, it's looking possible. Yeah. Until starters here. Possibly getting some cape loops. Oh. And there Okay, there it is. <laughs> Ooh, half the time, fourth for an up cape follow up just get capped by platform. Yeah, but the thing is, like, force, um, force can use those platforms to his advantage, even in those, like, you know. Those situations, where it can kind of like force you onto a platform and make you have to think about what you're gonna do up there and then kill you for it. So good at abusing platforms. Sure. Uh, so the other, um, other loses eight set was not submitted, but that was the only set that wasn't. So how should get covered here. Uh, it's pretty sick. All right. So next up is Temis. I have Tricky 3 and Limby. Off. Bit of a heavyweight.